Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. Thanks for checking out my channel. Make sure to check out Mr. Popsit Live where I interact with everyone and answer all the questions and Mr. Popsit Fishing. Also, now we are active with MrPopsit.com. You can get merch to represent your guy. Thanks for popping by. Okay guys, it's Greg Lynch Durham PA here, Mr. Popsit. We have a unique case here. You can see when I press this, the white that comes up to the surface right there. And this is, you would think, a bacterial infection, but it's not. Actually, this is a patient with chronic gout. And anytime coming off of the joint there, you can get this um, tophaceous gout, which is tophi um, and uric acid crystals that form together to make a white paste. We're going to do just a little injection right at the surface of the skin and a very small poke there. And we'll actually get a lot of kind of this uh, gouty, creamy substance out. And it'll take this pressure away so she feels better. And you can see that redness all around on the fingertip. It just doesn't have anywhere to go. And it starts building up from the side here. You can see almost like a little balloon. And uh, this we can drain and she'll have a lot of relief from that. So thanks to her for sharing her procedure. We'll do a little bit of numbing and we'll do a, a small poke and we'll get some of that out for her. And if you come down here, you can see on her foot, she has some gout down here too. This was a very big one, but it just kind of popped and drained on its own. But that would have been one we were gonna drain today as well, but it's most of that came out. If this is chronic, it's something that kind of keeps coming and going. She will get more joints it can happen to, but as long as we treat when it gets to this point, she's on medications as well, we can keep at least um, you know the inflammation and pain at bay. So we'll get her all prepped and ready and we'll be back in just okay a so we have her fingertip here and it's right by the surface you can see we're just going to do a little tiny pinch okay you okay mm -hmm. good you did great there it is oh it, Mom. yeah interesting stuff there that whole fingertip is filled up oh, that's right. with gout you doing okay pain wise yeah. good you're gonna feel much better getting this out here and then let it breathe, right? Just let, we'll put a Band-Aid on and then it'll, it'll kind of heal up here. We didn't cut real deep, but that whole fingertip was filled with and gout. The on the top. Yeah, yep. Oh so you God, can see that. here, wow. these are almost like, there's like crystals yeah, yeah. there. It looks, uh, it's like it looks, a white paste. Like a Very interesting. Makes me want to gag him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. And that I'm is, not that's things. uric acid there. I think that's why I'm so sick because I haven't been eating. Yeah, well, when you're under, this is painful on the fingertips. So it's yeah. good that we got that out. I'm going to kind of push from okay, each angle fine. here. You're not hurting too bad? No. Nope. Mm -mm. Good. You're going to feel so much better getting all that paste out of there. Yeah. So that is good. And I've had another patient on my channel. He had big, huge nodules on his elbows, and he had oh. chronic gout. Oh. And this is uh, just this you urate, and uric it, acid. Roll yeah, out. rolling roll it out, out different. Yeah. So did, you, did you take that out too? I did. I took, I drained it out of his elbows, and he did so much better. He feels great. It takes a while, but it can refill. Oh. But you got a lot of, you know, nerves right here too. Yeah. So we don't want to go digging real deep with the blade. We just want to get what comes out yeah. easily here. Okay. Starting to hurt a little or no? Yeah. Just a little. Okay. That's good. Now you see that finger looks so different. That yeah. skin is like wrinkled so, now. It's so like <laughs> No, no. That's just because you had a Band-Aid on. So yeah. that's okay. And most of that was just it? straight underneath there. Yeah. But if your toe refills, we can do that too. Just let me know. Oh, okay, I don't think we're going to get much out of there. Just oh. a little right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's so one little pocket. We almost got it all. And on the fingertip, you did great. Because <laughs> that's it's usually a pretty, pretty tender numb. area. Yeah. yeah, it's very numb. Put a little Lido in it there. It was kind of numb before you gave me my shot though too. I bet because there's so much pressure yeah. there. It almost makes the fingertip numb. But yeah. You did great. I just see a little bit coming back here. Uh -huh. You can see we can push that out oh, from the edge and push it right yeah, to the hole oh, there. there Interesting, there huh? The <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. And if you yeah. can handle it, I'll keep pushing here. We'll get more. Oh, yeah. That finger's going to feel so much better. So the, uh, Good. The dog is different when when there's an infection. <laughs> there we it's go. Like popcorn. Yeah, that's why when you went to the urgent care, it is like popcorn. <laughs> 
When you went to the urgent care, they thought that this was a bacterial infection. And when they have me come in like that, um, you know, I could tell right off the bat when I started seeing some of your other joints. And I yeah, said, okay. that doesn't quite look like a bacterial infection. It's red, but it doesn't have like the pus that we usually see. And then I started looking at your toes and I could tell the difference that it was gout. So that's good. We're just going to put a little pressure bandage. We're still getting some. You okay there? Yeah. Good. We'll keep pushing if we're still getting a little bit out for you. We'll never get it all because we don't go in there and scrape it. Do you, do you think that though, if we got everything last night? It now? looks like most of it came out, but it likely will refill. They usually do, but it takes a while. She's on the right medications. This is just a chronic condition. It's very frustrating. We don't cure it. They just try to get it controlled as best they can and lower uric acid levels. And when I talk on my channel also about pseudogout, which is calcium pyrophosphate, pyrophosphates, and it's a different type. Um, it's, it's not gout, it's different, but it can look similar sometimes. And I did have my severe patient, he had a little bit of both in his joints when we cultured it. But normally when you just have, um, when you have like gout like this, it's uric acid levels that make urate crystals and that forms this crystal like paste. So that's what we got out of there. But that looks good, just getting some blood now. I think that's all we're really gonna get out of there. And we'll monitor that. We can check back in like uh, like six weeks or so and make sure that that stayed down for you and is doing okay. So we, we have to make an appointment? Yeah, six weeks we just to recheck. It, you now. can go to the Riverside office yeah. if that's closer. Yeah, and there on Thursdays, you can see that like yeah. little. Because we are near there. That's like some of that Skin. scalp right there. Yeah, that's just like the, Skin. it's like a little sack in there of crystals. Can she wear it, doctor? Yeah, after 24 hours. Okay. So not today, but tomorrow she can get it wet. Okay. And we're still getting little bits right there at the surface, and you can handle that squeezing. You really did great. Yeah. Oh. That's good. Yeah, I'm not right at the end there. When I look there, I don't see much underneath anymore. There was a little bit back here. Uh -huh. Try to push. It. Yeah, look at that. We still got some. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah. She screamed on this on, on her on her toe because I keep pressing it. It, it was hurting. Yeah. yeah. That was a big one. We were gonna drain that too, but you got you already got that. But if it oh, refills, oh, just yeah. yeah, that skin was pretty thin. So we'll put just a little pressure bandage on, and that'll keep the pressure down. This will bleed a little bit, but that's it. We'll keep that pressure. And thanks for sharing that. That was a very interesting case. Gout on the fingertip, I really haven't seen that. I, I usually see in the joints and different areas. So this was an interesting case. And it mimicked something called a felon, which is a inf bacterial infection of the fingertip. So it actually kind of looked like that, but when you look closer, it didn't have the warmth and the pus that you would normally see. So where so. is the color, color in the swelling should go down? Oh yeah, once we got that out, now the swelling will go down, the pressure's gone, and the, the pigment will go back, okay. yeah. All right. Okay, so you can okay. come up here. Thanks for popping by, guys. Thanks to her for sharing. Very interesting case, so thank you. <laughs>